So when it comes to doing cosplay for you, it's more than just grabbing a costume, getting the costume put together, putting on like the glasses and the accessories and all those things. It's more than just that. It seems like it's a it's an art form for you. Yes, it is mostly like the way I work around stuff. It's what my dad taught me. I mean, he literally taught me from, by starting with the details and then work your way getting yourself involved with it and then build it with your own creation as much as possibly you can. Whatever you have to offer, offer it. Because it, that, That's really good advice because I see your work. You have, like you said, Killmonger, you have you have like things like like vampires. I see you do like Mr. Terrific. You have a Superboy. You got Static Shock. You have like a Punisher Spider-Man. Any, any of those like those costumes like I wouldn't say like like which one took the longest, but which one really stands out to you the most? I want to ask you which one's your favorite. I feel like that'd be going too far, but which yeah, one really, no, which, which one stands out to you the most? Most is my recent, the recent cosplay that I just did. That one I completely made up my own because I'm still writing this comic book about him, so I'm working my way on doing more of him. That's um, the Spade but, character, right? Yeah, Spade Ronin of the Fae, which I created. I called him Zen. Like, his name spelled as Z-Y-N-N. And honestly, being becoming him was just like my dream. This is was like a future goal. Like, I can put together a cosplay that's my figure of imagination into like into work and into like the environment of black cosplayers like there's so many of us with abilities and experiences that not a lot of few people have so i would like to share that with everybody as much as possibly i can <laughs> 